landed near a very busy stretch of the beach. Now we don't know what went wrong with the helicopter, but witnesses say the pilot did the right thing. Well, this ought to make vacation memorable for folks here in Fort Morgan. A helicopter making an emergency landing in the water right in front of Bill Snedeker. He now has a pretty good story to take back home to Kentucky. Well, it's so bizarre, I don't think anybody will believe it. As big as this beach is and the thing landing right in front of us. He watched from the water as the helicopter crept closer to him and his wife, then just dropped. It was kind of scary. I was so shocked, I just didn't move at all. I was ready to just get under the water, get away from the blaze. Missy and Tracy from Texas were right there too, but they had a much different reaction. We think, wow, he's coming this direction and he's getting lower. And he travels a short distance after that and just falls into the water. And everybody ran. <laughs> My daughter was laughing at me. She said, that's the fastest I've seen you moving. <laughs> and while they made a run for it, others pulled out their phones. This quick video shows the crowd that also wanted a piece of the action. The helicopter landed just shy of a busy stretch of the beach that has witnesses commending the pilot for his quick thinking. For nothing to come out of it except that plane to, or helicopter to land like that was great. And as beachgoers enjoyed their day, the helicopter stayed out there for hours. Meanwhile, the pilot took out the engine and the fuel tank. He had to wait for FAA officials to get here before he could move it. Giving time for a good photo op for folks taking a stroll along the water. Still too close for comfort for the ones with a front row seat. Because I told my doctor, I said, uh, maybe I'll get ate by a shark. I didn't think a helicopter would land on me, you know. And the pilot didn't want to talk. Witnesses tell us the helicopter was on its way to New Orleans from Dustin.